welcome back to another travel vlog. This one is going to be Genoa. If you're new here, my name is Brooklyn Quaid and I'm 27 years old from Perth, Western Australia. I've been vlogging my four weeks trip of Europe, so make sure you go check those out. Um, also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, they're both Brooklyn Quaid because I've been showing you what I get up to every day of this trip. But, time for the Genoa trip. So we are staying here just for two nights. We really are just here to break up the trip from Khan to Lake Como, which is our next stop. The main plans that we have here are to try the pesto pasta, I've been told that's really good. Check out the aquarium. When we arrived we saw there's a big pirate ship, so we might check that out as well. And we'll just wander around, we might go to the beach, but let me show you our room tour. So we're staying at the NH Collection and the hotel's really nice, so let me give you a little tour. Come in through the door here, then you get this nice spacious bathroom you can have a bath if you want nice big mirror toilet then come out here into the living room and you have the big bed little artwork TV a little study section I think of almost like a pantry yeah with a mini fridge another mirror then there's actually covered space in here and like a safe if you wanted to lock anything up and then the main attraction this cute balcony so we can actually come out here and look over the marina in the city. some focaccia which is famous here. Now we're just looking at the marina then we'll probably grab another drink and yeah see what happens. A couple of cocktails at Biggie Cocktails. It's just behind us, just here. It was really good. I highly recommend it if you're coming to Genoa. And now we're just gonna go check out the main square, Piazza di Ferrari, and then grab some dinner. So that is the plan so far. But let's go to the Piazza. It is a very lively city, Genoa. I have to say that. I'm enjoying it so far. With you, I can be sad. With you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams Where the skies are so clear With you, I wanna stay with you With you, I love the way that you Love me today, let's run hotel so for dinner we went to Trattoria delle Grazie it was really good I highly recommend if you are staying in Genoa I just looked at recommendations online and found this one place that had good reviews that was also open on a Sunday the startup we had like this lettuce wrapped with uh, meat and egg it was really good it sounds kind of strange but it was almost like a meatball wrapped in lettuce if I had to explain it and then for mains I had lasagna pesto but it was not like a lasagna with pesto sauce it was like just the lasagna sheet in a pesto sauce it was so good and then my partner had a kind of like a tortellini in a cream sauce stuffed with vegetables and that was really good as well so I highly recommend that we actually also met a lady that was a pensioner traveling from Frankfurt, she'd been traveling for about a six week trip and she was coming towards the end of it. And then we met a Brazilian medical student, radiographer student who was currently on like a placement here for pediatrics. So we had a really good conversation as well. But so far I'm liking Genoa. When we first arrived I wasn't sure because like obviously you get off at a train station 
and then it was quite quiet getting here but they had a sports festival so that was the street festival that I got a little bit of footage of it was actually like a sports festival I think trying to get youth into playing sport um, so yeah it's very very lively so far it is a Sunday so I'm interested to see what it will be like on a weekday so tomorrow is Monday and the plan is to get up early and go to the aquarium. So that opens at 9am. Currently it's 21 degrees and tomorrow it's supposed to be 24 degrees and no rain, which is a first for us so far. just finished up at the aquarium and I highly recommend a visit there if you are coming to Genoa because it was so good. The dolphins were definitely my favourite. There were so many different viewpoints so absolutely love that. I apologise if it was like five minutes of content of just fishes and dolphins etc but it was so so good. We are starving so we're going to go to Italy. We saw it before yesterday. Um, it's just in this like main part near the port so we're gonna go there for lunch and then we'll check out the ship and then we'll reconvene and see what we get up to but for now let's go to Italy and grab some food. going on that ship over there. We are currently on the ship. So this here is our accommodation. Then we have obviously the ship. And then the aquarium is just over there. So a really good location gonna have to put up with this weird angle but we are, are back at the hotel stunning hotel like really recommend this place if you need a place to stay and I like the location too it's really good but no beach anymore because the weather actually lied to us and there's a thunderstorm or and it's been raining let me show you outside so there's all this cloud cover it's not currently raining but as you can see like there on the chairs and stuff it has been raining and it's actually been thundering and lightning as well. So we are taking a rest. My partner is having a nap and I have made a little coffee. Honestly, we are a bit tired from Khan still, but I've really enjoyed my day so far in Genoa. I think it's about 3 p.m. Yeah, about 3 p.m. So I'm gonna have my coffee. There is a gym downstairs and I haven't worked out at all this whole trip, which is fine. It's not been a priority of mine, but see how I feel after my coffee because I might go check that out and see do a really quick workout if I do I'll bring you along and if I don't I'll update you on that but for now I am going to enjoy this coffee ran a very very slow kilometer but non-stop so I'll take it and I'm not a good runner we need to work on that later back home <sighs> gonna catch my breath and then probably just do a couple of weights there's like a chair here so I might do some arms and just some legs nothing crazy was one of the hardest workouts I've ever done but we got it done I think I actually worked out for 45 minutes so pretty happy with that so I have to be honest a stomach full of pasta bruschetta a prosecco and a cappuccino in there I wouldn't recommend I don't feel great 
Um, but I'm so happy that I did that. I am going to have that really nice shower where you wash your hair, shave, all of that. My partner is still asleep, so I'm gonna do all that. It's about 4 p.m. now, so I'll do that and then I'll take you out with us this evening. for the night it's actually 9 40 p.m and i think we went out about 5 30 so we've been out for over four hours now which is wild we went to an amazing dinner place which was what you just saw it was called canteen camilla where we went and you got to like sit outside in a garden section highly recommend like it was really good it was a nice dining experience as well but i thought i have a little haul for you so i thought that i'd finish the vlog by showing you what I got. So first we went to Kiko Milano, which is like a makeup store. So I've got a couple of face masks because my skin when I travel can react a bit. So I got a purifying face mask. That's like a black bubble one. So that's that one. And then I got a, a hydrating face mask. So like this big blue sheet. And also from Kiko Milano, I actually also got uh, the Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour. I really want a um, stick contour. I'm not sure like how this will compare to other brands, but I thought I'll give it a go because I can't get this back home. So this is what it looks like. I got it in the shade 200, which is the lighter of the two shades. So it's a classic contour stick and then it's just that like tawny color. So I'm excited to give that a go. We'll see how it blends. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow. And then I also got the Dolce Diva Baked Highlighter. And this is stunning. Like packaging, stunning. It's like a champagne highlighter and it looks stunning. So I'm excited to try that as well. The plan right now is I'm going to have a bath. It is quite late, so not for too long. I've been reading Schindler's Ark, which is Schindler's List, the movie version. So I've been reading that book for book club, my pick. So I'm going to have a bath and just relax and then go to sleep. And tomorrow we're off to Como. So this is the end of the